What up and welcome to the very first 2020 figure review. What up and welcome to 2020 and welcome to my very first figure review of this beautiful year. Hopefully y'all had a beautiful New Year's. Personally mine was just very relaxed, very mellow, just a bit of alcohol and enjoying the moment. Anyway, welcome to the Qniverse. Hopefully you like that new intro. I've been working on that for, well not very long, just two hours non-stop just going at it. And uh, yeah, it's a bit longer but you know it looks dope as so why not, you know, f*** it, why not, why not? Anyway, I want to start this year off with more positivity and by that's by giving two very important people a shout out. One is by the name of Alien Arts. He is a awesome up and coming Toy Story YouTuber. I put his link down in the description below as well as his Instagram. That dude is awesome. He uh, reached out to me through Instagram as a fan, but when I looked at his work, I was literally thinking to myself like, how are you a fan? I'm a fan of your work, man. We're fans of each other. That's crazy. And he's an awesome dude. His 3D work, he made a 3D Woody. I'll put the clip right here that was not good well it is right here as you can see it is awesome this dude can really make some fire stuff and uh, we've been already talking about some future projects 2020 2021 and uh, overall he's just an awesome dude so again link in the description below to his youtube page and instagram page go follow kron that's his actual name go follow kron Kron, you're awesome, you deserve this, so uh, yeah, quick shout out. And the second shout out, it is obviously for Errol's story for making this dope, super comfortable sweater because my god, it feels like you're getting a hug constantly and we all know, we all need hugs every now and again. So uh, yeah, overall, dope stuff. Now, um, now that that's all out of the way, our sponsor, no, we don't have, <laughs> I don't have a sponsor, calm down, um, no. What better way to start off this year by reviewing a custom made by none other than B Customs and here is our logo and uh, <clears throat> I made that I think last year, had a lot of fun with it but again B Customs also linked to his Instagram page in the description below again an awesome dude and uh, yeah let me grab the custom right now and that custom is of course Space Ranger Warp Dark Matter and I know Someone else has already commissioned B Customs to make a second one. He has. That one looked dope. He just looks very awesome. And you can get one as well, but you have to pay for it and you have to be on time. So again, link in the description below to his Instagram page. But yeah, to start off 2020, let's take a close look at this awesome Space Ranger Custom Warp Dark Matter right now. And here we have custom Space Ranger Warp in all of his Space Ranger glory. And as you can see, he looks dope. Now, how in God's name did B Customs make this? Very simple, we just, well, <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> we just used a very basic Toy Story Collection Buzz Lightyear and he just went from there. So what he did was he customized the face that we'll get into in a second. He took off this sticker that said Lightyear and he colored this piece. So and yeah the face, most of the work went into the face but we'll get into that in a second. But as you can see Warp looks so awesome. He just looks so dope. And Warp was actually one of those characters, or Space Ranger Warp was actually one of those characters back in the 2000s uh, when the uh, series and movie came out, who I really would have loved to see more of, you know? Because he was just, he was like second only to Buzz, you know, second best. You, could, you literally see it in the intro, like everything that Buzz has is like golden metal, uh, metal Warp would have in silver. So yeah, he was literally the second best space ranger in the entire galaxy. And, uh, you know, he, uh, in the movie, if you haven't watched the movie, he um, <coughs> dies and then turns 
evil and becomes uh, evil and Berserk's right hand man under the new name Agent Z. And uh, yeah, that's that movie overall is just so awesome. And uh, you know, I just wish we could have seen him a lot more as a Space Ranger because it was just so awesome seeing him next to Buzz. And to just put it a bit more into perspective, well, I'll just grab another Buzz layer in a second. But let's just get into this detail because oh, you gotta want to see this. Anyway, to start off, B Customs changed the middle button which used to be green to yellow to be a lot more movie and uh, animated series ac accurate and uh, yeah just like I said he took the off the sticker but he still kept the Space Ranger sticker so it's kind of it's kind of like a mix between the movie uh, you know the animated series and like the actual Toy Story movies you know like what if someone actually made a warp dark matter uh, or like what if he was actually part of the uh, crew that Buzz landed with in Andy's room. So again, a, a very dope concept, but something we will never actually see. But still, very dope. So yeah, you should definitely see this as like a mix of the two worlds. Now, something that Warp also still has that I uh, always find very important to keep is of course his wrist communicator, even though this one is a bit more loose. But as you can see... Warp can also still make his report to Star Command, even though he never did. But as you can see, the sticker is still all good, so B Customs definitely nailed that part to not take it off. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, something very important that uh, B Customs also still kept is, of course, the wings. Because if you're gonna go full collection Buzz Lightyear, you gotta keep the wings. So, yeah, he still has those. I don't know if the batteries still work, I'll try it right now, I have actually no idea, but I wouldn't be surprised if nothing happened, and yeah, nothing happens. So, um, you know, that's not a turn off or bad or anything, but as you can see, for the custom we kept the wings, that's also like movie accurate, since you do see Warp uh, challenging aliens, you know, while he's flying, you know. Uh, how ticklish their belly buttons were and if you don't understand that reference go watch the movie because it's it's, it's just he is so f***ing funny if you thought Buzz was funny Warp definitely takes it to the next level now sorry for that we, it was out of focus but now let's get into the bread and butter of this custom and that's of course the face put the helmet back a bit and as you can see Warp you can just see that yes it's Buzz but you can definitely see the more animated aspect of it, you know. He still has the goatee and especially the ears. The hair is nice and, well, I wouldn't say wavy, but it is accurate to Warp Dark Matter. He looks so dope. And even in the teeth, the, that little line in the middle, just so awesome. And the yellow eyes. He kind of looks stoned. It's kind of like a buzz doing drugs and then his entire skin goes a weird, you know, color. But this is actually how Warp used to look as a Space Ranger. And that's probably part of his race to look this blue and the yellow eyes. So overall, he just looks so awesome. Now, let's get into size comparisons and we'll just leave it there because, you know, 2020, I want to keep the figure of you short and sweet so you will, you know... Watch and enjoy it and, uh, you know, still get informed of what figure you should get or should commission. Again, link in the description below. And if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, share with all your friends and folks. And let's get into that comparison right now by bringing in Emperor Zerg. Now, this, just like Warp, is not your typical Zerg figure. This is also a custom, but this custom has been done by me. And, um... Yeah, the, the one thing or the one big thing that I changed about it, and as you can see, by the way, it is kind of accurate. I mean, Warp is taller than Buzz, but yeah, he's still smaller than Zerg. So, and so even in the movie version, it is sort of accurate, kind of, sort of, but... Um, yeah, but the one thing that I changed about this Zerg that makes him a custom is I took off the gun since I have two Zerg figures. But uh, yeah, overall, I think it's accurate enough. So um, yeah, so now let's just bring in Commander Nebula and the gang and then we'll do our final thoughts and uh, we'll leave it at that. So let's get into that right now. 
Now, for my final thoughts, here we have the OG Star Command Space Ranger team. We got the LGMs, we got XR, or in this case, you know, XR would later on be part of the team. We got Commander Nebula, who was also made by B Customs. We have the new Buzz Lightyear up top there, because yeah, if you saw the last figure review, link to the description below if you haven't, <clears throat> you know why he's on a stand. Anyway, Warp Dark Matter then. Did B Customs know it? Yes. 10 out of 10. He absolutely nailed it. When I saw this for the first time, I was just shocked. Uh, that was during the um, unboxing series. And uh, yeah, uh, so uh, if you want to see that, there's a playlist on my YouTube channel, the entire unboxing series, and there you can see how I announce me getting this figure and then actually receiving it. It is crazy. I think two years ago, I made my very first um, custom Space Ranger Warp Dark Matter, and when I made it myself, I was like, it could not get better than this, and I was just... You know, I was at a loss for words when B Customs actually accepted this project and when he made this alongside Command Nebula. And uh, B, as you know, you've made two of my dreams a reality. And I want to thank you so much for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. B nailed it and he just looks so good with the others. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully I kept this video short. I don't know how long this video will be. Also depends how I will edit it. But I think <laughs> overall it will be between 10 and 20 minutes. But you know, I tried my best. Again, thank you all so much for giving me love and support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go down, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more custom figure reviews. There's a lot of awesome things coming in 2020. And I can tell you right now, between late 2020 and early 2021, We'll be taking a look at the evil Buzz Lightyear. I'm not going to say he was going to make it, but I can just tell you right now, we're going to take a look at him, and we're going to take a look at Cadet Buzz Lightyear when he first started off. So there's our two big announcements for you for 2020. Hopefully you like that, and if you do, hit that like button. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So that's pretty much it for this figure review. The next uh you know, figure reviews that are coming are going to be SH Figure Arts based. And the next time you will see a new Space Ranger on the table. Again, late 2020, I think. Not totally sure. Maybe earlier. Who knows how life goes. We never know. Customizers might out of nowhere have a lot of time. Or I am out of nowhere might have a crazy amount of money. I don't know. We don't know. 2020 hopefully will end that. Anyway, if you're here for the ride, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.